The loggerhead population has halved in recent decades. An animal that has outlasted the dinosaurs is now on the verge of extinction because of human behaviour. Turtle research programs along the east coast of Queensland are working in coordinated efforts to gain a better understanding of the turtle behaviour. This is the key to identifying the main causes to the turtle's high mortality rate. The biggest threat is bycatch. It is responsible for killing over 200,000 turtles back in the year 2000. When commercial fisheries put out their nets, turtles unintentionally become trapped in them. When turtles become trapped, they are unable to return to the surface to breathe and drown. And the turtle becomes part of the bycatch along with other untargeted species. To reduce the turtle bycatch, Queensland Government have introduced strict legislation for commercial fisheries. The greatest impact made to the turtle bycatch efforts were the introduction of turtle exclusion devices known as TEDs. In Queensland, it is mandatory for all commercial fishermen to equip their nets with TEDs. TEDs are special devices that allow a captured turtle an area to escape by directing the turtle towards an opening. By using TEDs in nets, there has been a reduction in the number of turtle bycatch without jeopardising the economic and sustainability of the fishing industry and improved attitudes to think more about sustainable and respectful ways for living. Humans are a threat to turtle habitats and contribute to strandings that refer to hurt turtles that can result in death. Morton Bay Marine Park reported 13,000 last year through entanglement in fishing gear, boat strikes, ingesting debris and pollution. While coastal development not in increases the chances of strandings, it also brings new threats. These include the destruction of nesting grounds and disturbing nesting patterns with artificial lighting, increased beaching activities and tourism such as four-wheel driving, on beaches and walking on sand dunes. To reduce human related threats, preventative measures need to be executed globally and on a community level. By recycling, using fewer chemicals and plastics, stopping coastal construction and forward drives on known nesting beaches and placing covers over beachfront lights. Turtles play a central role in the beach and marine ecosystem. Subsequently, they have been identified as keystone species. Removing them would cause a whole food chain to collapse. This is because one single turtle can have up to 100 different marine life living off them for food. If they were forced to find an alternative food source, it would not sustain the amount of marine life that turtles support. With turtle numbers declining, the ecosystem they support weakens, impacting on our oceans and us. This is because humans are connected to the oceans. It is part of our daily lives. If human behaviours contribute to conflict with the turtle conservation efforts, we will see them become extinct and our ecosystem will become weaker.